Hey guys, sorry to here, back in KSP. I built some uh, jet fighter replicas and one bomber. And I thought I'd show them to you guys. I will show them in the hangar. And I will fly a few. And uh, or else this video will become too long. Okay, now this is the A-10 Warthog or Thunderbolt. And as you can see it uh, looks pretty sweet. Especially uh, the rear. I don't really like the cockpit, but uh, KSP doesn't have anything with which I could make the uh, A10 cockpit. So, the next plane is the uh, B2. I'm going in alphabetical for, uh, order. This is the B2. It has a uh, double layered wing, and the engines are embedded in the wings. Of course, with the new part, it has a uh, cargo bay for bombs, and well, um, I think I'm gonna fly this one uh, when I'm done showing the rest. Uh, we have the F-15E, which also looks pretty sweet. I chose this one because it has fixed wings. You also have the Tomcat with the moving wings, but I can't make that in stock. At least not yet. Uh, we have the X, uh, F16, which is out of the middle and has training wheels. Uh, these are for the picture I made. I thought I removed them already. There we go. Uh, you can take off with this one in a, in a straight line, no problem, and you can land it, but don't try to taxi, don't try to turn it around or drive with it. It will fall over because of the landing gear are so close together. Save this. And the next one is the uh, F-18E, which I think looks pretty sweet. I try to stay as close to the originals as possible. It's a replica, so yeah. With all the planes. Uh, and let's go to the next one. Uh, we have the F-22. The Raptor. Which looks pretty sweet. Though I don't like the tail end. Uh, especially the tail wings. But uh, they're close enough, especially if you look at the shadow, you would almost think it's a real deal. The next one is the F-35. Uh, which uh, I don't like really like the air intakes, but I couldn't find any other way to make them. Uh, otherwise it looks pretty sweet. Uh, Try to create the hull shape. Um, I think I succeeded pretty well. Uh, yeah, and we go to the next one, which is the uh, F4. I just recently built this. Uh, all of the planes are on the KSP forum. Uh, well, this is the F4 uh, Phantom, which I think looks pretty nice, pretty good. Seems a little bit shorter than the original, maybe I need to lengthen it a little. But uh, you can really see it. Of course it has very uh, uh, noticeable wings. Uh, let's see, let's go to the next one. And the next one is the is a Russian plane. Uh, the Foxbat, I don't know, uh, I think it's a make, but I don't know which number. Um, this was a request of somebody on the forum. If you have a request, you can uh, put that in the description or in the comments, I mean, and I will try to make it and put it in the pack. Uh, well, this is a pretty nice craft. Uh, flies pretty well also. Uh, more for high altitude and high speed. I understand it's the first plane with a metal frame to go past Mach 3 and melt its engines in the process. 
Okay, and then we have the English um, Harrier, which uh, has no VTOL cap capability. I was going for looks this time, not for uh, functionality. So uh, this one just goes horizontal and doesn't take off vertical. I think I really uh, nailed the cockpit, the shape, and uh, especially the front of the plane. The whole shape of the plane, I think, looks uh, pretty well, pretty nice. And then we go back to a Russian plane, uh, the MiG-21. A very simple plane to build, but yeah, it's a very simple looking plane in real life, so what can you do about it? And then we go to the MiG-23, which was a little bit more difficult to make. If I'm going a little fast, it's because I have a lot of them. And, uh, probably need to finish this one uh, just a minute. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, the game seems to have uh, some uh, a bug. I can't. Oh. Oh, there we go. And there we go. Finished. I forgot that one. Okay, we're now going to the next one, which is the MiG 39. Yes. I think this one looks really nice. Uh, the uh, air intakes on the bottom were pretty problematic, especially the uh, angle at the back. But we managed to recreate it. Uh, I think it looks pretty like the pretty much like the real plane, as far as you can get it in KSP. Okay, now we have the um, let's see. Oh yeah, the SR seventy one. This one flies pretty difficult. Um, straightforward is not a problem, but everything else uh, is a little bit problematic. Uh, it looks nice. It goes pretty fast. It has four turbojet engines clipped into each other, or the two on each side. Uh, maybe that's the problem, I don't know, but it has a uh, pretty fast acceleration uh, and a pretty fast uh, high uh, end speed. And the last one, uh, oh yeah, we have two more. The Su-27. I think it looks pretty nice, this one. Pretty much like the real plane. It flies very nice. And the last one is the. Uh, oops, went too fast. The Sukhoi uh, 47, which has a pretty interesting hull. I understand this is an experimental plane. I don't know if it's in service, but I think it's in a lot of games. Uh, I made the hull uh, with the uh, octagonal struts, put them in the right shape, and then put the uh, control surfaces on them, or the uh, I can pronounce it the alveons. And well, I used those to make the hull. So this is one of the uh, Planes with the most parts, together with the BD2. Um, I'm gonna fly this one. And after that, I think I'm gonna fly the B2. And then I'm gonna end this video. So, there we go. This one has a tendency to go to the right because of the uh, imbalance. You know, the original plane also has some, I think it's antennas on the back and the left side is short and the right side is longer, so well, it's a replica. What are you going to do about it? 
in flight you won't notice it that much. I'm using SCS now, but you don't really need to. It flies pretty, uh, uh, turns pretty fast this one, or pulls up pretty fast. Uh, yeah, and controls uh, pretty nice. Uh, let's load the B2. This one uh, flies uh, exceptional well. Uh, ex you understand what I mean. It's a little bit late here, so I'm a little bit tired, so I have some trouble pronouncing some things. This one uses basic engines. I understand that the B2 isn't meant for high altitude flight. It flies as low as it can when on a mission, so to stay under radar. And there we go. It uh, has a tendency to pull up. You can correct it, of course, using Alt and pressing down. Or you can just fly it around, you know. It reacts pretty well. It has some uh, control servers on the bottom, which aren't there on the real thing, I believe. But uh, right here. But, well, you have to make it fly, you know. You have to make it go uh, the right way. Turn on some SES. Uh, uh, one toggles an auto plane C engine, and if it has a cargo bay, it's toggled with two. I think this is the only plane for now that has a cargo bay. I'm gonna try to build some bombers also, um, also some uh, experimental crafts. And I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, I'm gonna put a description. Uh, a link to the crafts in the description, also to the forum. I'm just gonna put a link to the forum and you can find my crafts there if you want to. Um, yeah, if you want to see me build a craft you haven't seen yet, uh, leave a request in the comments and I will try to build it. So, I hope you liked the video. If you do, please like the video. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.